G'day. Today we're going to have a look at a project that I'm currently working on. The idea here is to build a suite of tools around an ELK stack that will permit the storage, viewing and manipulation of a set of rich structured alerts. A rich alert is one that contains a lot of data. Historically alerts have been data poor, containing at best a message and some details of where and when it was issued, at worst little more than a cryptic code and some hint as to where it came from. To this end, I'm working on something called the Herfalump protocol, which is an extensible JSON structure that contains a rich alert. This is documented on GitHub in the wiki for the Fant1 project. Key to the structure is an encoded field that defines the class of the alert. This will be used to look up a presentation template that is then used to interpret and expand the alert's data when it is displayed. Hopefully I'll have that working next week. Naturally it's written so that you can easily add your own classes of alerts and their associated presentation templates. What I have at the moment is a tool to generate rich alerts and put them into an Elasticsearch index, FANT1. This is currently just a Java program that has the alert details hard-coded into it, but parameterizing it is straightforward enough. I'm also planning to add a Logstash plugin which will make it easy to convert any event Logstash has received into an alert. The goal for FANT1 is to provide some tooling so you can create alerts from pretty much anywhere you are running the code. Windows, Linux, Mac, even ZOS, just with a single program call. The raw alerts get stored in the ELK index, as you can see in the Kibana view. However, they really aren't all that easy to read in this format, although there is some benefit from being able to use all of Kibana's normal analytics tools to analyze them. To that end, I'm creating a Kibana plugin called FANT2, which is an alert viewer. The primary monitoring panel will be the alert list view, which shows the current alerts with the newest ones at the top, with simple visual color coding as to how important or otherwise each one is. For each alert, you'll be able to get to the operator view, but for now we just have the detail view. This is simply showing a nicely formatted version of the raw JSON data. Indeed, the twisty at the bottom of the page can be expanded to show the alerts JSON. The source and source link fields are worth a mention. The source is simply a human readable text string that identifies the piece of software that detected the problem and generated the alert. The associated link is provided by that software and should take you to a web page that is directly related to the issue. For example, an alert about high CPU usage should take you to a Kibana page that shows historical CPU usage for the system where the error was reported. This provides your operators with immediate access to the data behind the alert. In this case, I'm simply linking through to a GitHub page so we can check that the link works. That's about all I've got to show for this week. Keep tuned, there should be more updates as the project advances. Thank you for your attention.